Hey YouTube, got another knife for you today. This is uh, Matt, Knife Crazy. So as you can see, it's an Emerson. I just recently bought this from Spec Operator 4. Needless to say, I am very pleased. I, uh, this is my first Emerson. Didn't know what to expect. Was going a little bit by um, Spec Operators Four review, and had, like he says, you know, don't take that's that's his opinion. You know, don't take his opinion for you know uh, the word. I put it that way. You know, everybody's got different opinions and what they like and don't like. It's just not for him, he says. So um, I was a little worried about that. I was like, well, if it ain't for him, it might not be for me. What do I expect? You know. So um, being the first Emerson, I. Uh, I thoroughly love it, put it that way. I love flippers and I love smooth knives with ball bearings and, uh, and the pivot and all that. And uh, it is nice. That was just barely doing the flipper. May want to drop, just doop. Smooth. I already put my uh, edge on it. I didn't go full mirror. I only took it to about 4,000 grit because I've decided this is gonna be my EDC for a while. And I don't need, uh, you know, a mirror polish on my EDC. So I do have it hair shaving sharp but no big bling bling mirror on this one. It's got a nice shine to it though. But let's get a little bit about it. This is the Emerson Rangemaster Sheepdog Spear Point Flipper Knife. Has an overall length of 8.375 inches. The blade length is 3.50 inches my perfect blade length. The blade steel is 154 cm. It has a weight of 5.71 ounces. It has right and left hand tip up carry. It is made in the USA. Has a ball bearing pivot. Titanium liners. G10 scales. Very grippy G10, G10 scales. If, uh, if you think the paramilitary 2 has some grip to it, you ain't seen nothing until you felt those. Uh, one thing that I did not know about it, that it wasn't, it wasn't disappointing, but it's something I'm not used to. I had to uh, change my ways of sharpening. Uh, this has a chisel grind on it with the, the way it was shaped with the grind and the grind, I thought it had double bevels. But as you can see, it's a single bevel. Got the bevel on this side, nothing on that side. So I didn't know that about it, but no biggie. It actually takes less time to sharpen. <laughs> you only got to worry about one side and just taking that little bit of burr off on that other side. So no biggie. But uh, flips like a dream, smooth as butter. It is pretty much dead on. I mean, if you want to get ridiculous uh, about it, it is a little, a little tiny bit off, but not, you know, centered to me. It has, you know, the, the titanium liner. So it's the titanium liner lock on to the steel blade, which on a lot of knives like that, that don't have the, uh, like, um, the steel inserts on light liner locks, on well, not liner locks, but uh, frame locks. It has a little bit of blade stick, but this type of blade stick, I don't mind. I actually like a little bit of the tug so that I know it's good and tight. If you can listen, let's see if we can hear it. You can hear that little bit. Let's flip it on open. Little stick. 
but I like that. If it was so loose, it would just feel like you'd want to close up in your hand kind of thing. If you're really gripping hard on it, I like to know there's a little tug there, just a little break -a loose area. No biggie. But this one, um, no blade play, no side to side. Let's check uh, a uh, Carter. Let's, uh, your knife was having that little bit of movement in the uh, detent ball. Let's see. It, it moves and then it breaks the loose right there. You can hear it. But it does have a little movement. I'm not sure if it's, let's do the uh, flipper. Whoop. <laughs> oh, it moves some. I don't know if it's as bad as yours, but there's the detent bringing it in. Little movement and then it breaks it loose. So there you go, Carter. That's uh, what mine's doing. So you can compare it to yours. It uh, got the Emerson clip on it, of course. You know, no deep carry stuff. Wanted out where you can get some uh, fingers on it when you go to pull it up for the wave. You don't want it so deep where you can't get a hold of it. Well built knife. Very, very sturdy. Let's put out a little knives on the table to compare it to. Uh, you can mount not have that knife. Most people has this knife. That's a comparison to that one. Paramilitary 2, Spyderco. Oh, let's check out this one. ZT 0562 carbon fiber. That's the uh, a stutter and bob. Remember you asked me one time? It's the M390. Uh, 1510 serial number. These are my, uh, ooh, that's smooth. There's a video on that comparing it to the uh, uh, Spyderco Southern, by the way. Already got a video on that one. Video on the Paramilitary 2. Check it out if you hadn't seen it already. That's, that's my two babies there. I like those. Those ain't going nowhere. And I do believe this one ain't going nowhere either. I like it. A little bulkier than the Paramilitary 2. Weighs a, a, a little bit more, probably I would say at least two, two and a half ounces more, at least. Uh, there's the thickness. But these are my perfect, these three right here are my perfect size knives. I love three and a half inch blades. I love right around an eight to, to eight and a half total length. It's my babies there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is uh, Matt with Knife Crazy. Please subscribe, share, like my videos. Uh, and thank y'all very much, all the subscribers. I'm, I'm almost at 300. Very excited about that. It's, it's creeping along. For you know what, I'll be at five and, and so on. So thank y'all very much. Y'all have a good day. Bye.